Yo, what is up, legendary subscribers? My name is Tending Game Legend, and welcome everybody back to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be on the Pokemon website, and today we're going to be taking a look at the one, two, three, four, five, six, six brand new Pokemon that were just dropped yesterday. I already watched the trailer, but today, we're just going to go look ahead of these Pokemon. And in also another video, I'm going to go around and I'm going to look at all the other Pokemon as well. Like, I mean, I'm going to take a look at the starters in an individual video, all that stuff. So, let's get into it, with our first Pokemon being Bounce Sweet. It is a the fruit Pokemon. The type is Grass, and its ability is Leaf Guard and Oblivious. Because it excludes a del delicious smell from its entire body, Bounce Sweet is a popular Pokemon and within the people of the lower regions. Sorry, I'm, I'm bad at reading, so... Um. Bounce sweet scent has a calming effect on humans. So many people let them live inside their homes as sort of an air freshener. Unfortunately, it's sometimes swallowed whole by Pokemon drawn to its aroma. <laughs> that's that's crazy. Um, take a look at the design. It looks exactly like a Cherum. If you guys have no idea what that Pokemon is, Cherum. It, he he looks awesome. I'll probably catch this Pokemon when the game comes out. Um, I'm not really sure if I'll make it on my team, but he looks awesome. Um. I mean, come on, he, he gets swallowed whole. Like, seriously. When running away from another Pokemon, Bounce Sweet le flees danger by uh, skipping along the ground. Since his bouncy movements don't convoy, convey to the others that it's actually desperate in flight, no one ever comes to its aid. When attacked by enemies, it drives them off by rotating a calyx in his head. I can't really read that. Um, the downside is how dizzy it gets afterward. That, that's That's... That's adorable. Um, he's not my favorite Pokemon out of these brand new ones, but he looks awesome. I think he's an awesome Pokemon. Let's watch this little video right here. If it will look. Oh, fuck the video. Moving up next. Sorry, I have a little stuff he knows. We have Boo Air. The, let's, just, let's just look at this. It looks like a raccoon tanuki mixed with a bear. And, um, it's okay. It's it's not a very awesome design. It's a normal fighting type. It could The typing could be way better. I think it should have been a fairy fighting type. Maybe when it evolves, because it looks like it's fairy because of, like, the pink. Um, pink fairy is my favorite color, by the way. When Boo Air is acting friendly in fashion, just swinging its arms around you, you might never dare to approach it carelessly. It is acknowledged to be a dangerous Pokemon, even within the Lolo region. You may see warning signs posted near the places it resides. When Boo Air grows a fond of its trainer, it may show the feeling in a fond, in a, in a, in a fond embrace, but the force of the hug that is tremendous. Trainers must teach these Pokemon how to restrain their strength, when showing affection, so pretty much they're just they're just cute little guys. They roam their they grab their freaking arms, and they hug their trainers to the point where guns spill out <laughs> everywhere, and you get a pulled muscle in your chest. I had that a couple weeks ago. Boo Air has a how Boo Air may I don't even know. Boo Air may have a fluffy ability, that, but a new ability a new ability. I, I don't know what it is, but it must have something to do with, like, a, like the strength being with it. A new ability that no Pokemon has ever possessed before. The fluffy ability has the damage taken from attacks that are made in direct contact, but in return, it also doubles the damage taken from fire-type moves. That's an interesting ability. Um, I don't know anything about Pokemon and competitive battling or any of that stuff, but it sounds like a pretty good ability. This Pokemon is also really tall. This Pokemon is taller than me. Which, that's going to be crazy. I don't really like Boo Air. But here we got Comfet, Comfey. The Rose Picker Pokemon. It also has the Flower View slash the Tree Edge ability. Comfy picks up flowers and always carries them around. It makes a ring of blossoms and spreads it oil from its body on it. Which changes the flowers so they emit a, smooth, a soothing fragrance. It has a habitat of... Has a, oh no, has a habit of giving these flower rings to those who are fond of it. The aroma can soothe, can soothe it. Itself and its allies, Comfey also helps with the treatment of people and Pokemon at the Pokemon centers and hospitals thanks to its aroma. So pretty much, I think this is going to be a really cool for like the anime. Um, 
if Ash does win the Kalos League, or like he'll probably like be replaced by someone else. I'm not sure, but he looks. This looks like it's gonna be besides Wigglytuff and a bunch of other Unchancy. This looks like it's gonna be a very popular Pokemon when you see Nurse Joys in the Pokemon Centers, which is gonna be interesting. What if the Pokemon Sun and Moon Nurse Joys have Pokemon? And they take the Pokemon into the back room, and they heal that, and then they take it back like they do in the anime. That'd be kind of cool. When attacked by other Pokemon, it throws its flowers at them to create an opening. Then it either flees or strikes back. Comfy can have the new abil the triage ability, an ability that no other Pokemon has had before. With the triage ability, with the triage ability, the boost Pokemon's restorative moves gain the highest priority in battle. That's an interesting ability. Um, there's not really much I can say about this Pokemon. I don't hate it, but I don't really like like it either. It's a cute Pokemon, but you know, I don't know. Excuse me. I don't really think that it's going to be the strongest Pokemon, but I'll I'll take it a try. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. This Pokemon's really cool. Mustale. It's a dra the draft horse Pokemon. It's a ground type. Damn, this Pokemon is eight feet tall. Dude, this is crazy. That's crazy. Own tempo and stamina. All right, that's an interesting ability. Mustale is known for its powerful body as well as its emotional fortitude which keeps it from being agitated by anything. It never cries out no matter what kind of trouble it's in, and it defeats its opponents with a single powerful blow. Its legs are coated are coated in protective mud, and the weight of this coating increases the force of its kicks. One kick in a car is a pile of scrap. That's insane. This Pokemon is powerful. I'm going to have to put this Pokemon on my team. Mustale's running speed is not too swift, but it has excellent power and stamina. It also carries it for... It, cannot, it can carry on for three days and three nights, desperate dragging loads over ten tons. This Pokemon is a strong Pokemon. I want this Pokemon. They, this guy's going to be on my team. Th th just saying. He's going to be on my team. I hope that he has like a pre-evolution or something. Maybe it's going to be the, um, the final evolution. Or maybe there's going to be like this giant horse Pokemon that will be its evolution. When Mustel gallops in an earnest... The power of each hoof clop can dig out dig out huge holes. That was, that was very um, tongue twister for me. Even its asphalt, Mustale is forbidden to run on some Alola region of Alola's public roads. Damn, so this isn't just some ro some regular rodeo Pokemon. This is a dangerous Pokemon as well. Mustale can have the new stamina ability, an ability that no other Pokemon has had before. Duh. With the stamina ability, the Pokemon's defense goes up by one when it's hit by an attack. That's an awesome ability. I really like that ability. Mustale, you've earned my respect. I'm going to see if there's image as. I like this Pokemon. Oh, this one. This one's my favorite. Mimikyu. The disguise Pokemon. It's a ghost and fairy type, and its ability is disguise. Okay. Um, I think we got to watch this video, guys. We we just got to watch this video. Okay, so we are now back. Let's watch the video, because I don't feel like reading all this. Actually, I don't know what this is yet. Mimiku lives in a life completely covered by its own cloth, and it's always hidden. People believe that anybody who sees it in its true form beneath the cloth will be stricken with a mysterious illness. People in our lower region are convinced that you are... That you must never try to peek beneath its covering. Mimikyu's health fails when it's bathed ba bath in the rays of sun, so it prefers to stick to dark places. It's rumored to that the reason it covers itself with its cloth is to avoid sunlight. The rising popularity of Pikachu-styled merchandise around 20 years ago is the reason why Mimikyu makes it look so look, makes what the fuck. Let me read that over again. The rising popularity of Pikachu-styled merchandise over 20 years ago is the reason why Mimikyu makes itself look like Pikachu. In fact, this Pokemon is dreadfully lonely, and it thought it would be, more, be able to make friends with humans if it looked like, if only it looked like Pikachu. This is paying homage to the 20th anniversary. If you can see this Pikachu, it's on the top of the shop, yo. You guys, you guys gotta agree. Pikachu is the number one recognizable Pokemon. By far. In Pokemon Go right now, there is not a single person that is not trying to catch a Pikachu. Even those people who don't even play Pokemon like us, us Pokemon fans, 
there is always these people that want to catch Pikachu. You you cannot deny that Pikachu is a pop culture icon and is Nintendo's money maker besides Mario. Oh, I thought my phone was ringing. Mimikyu has the disguise ability, a new ability that I had no Pokemon has ever practiced before. Um, the disguise ability allows it to escape damage from enemies attacks just one time and then its appearance changes. That's interesting. I watched a video. Who was it? Who was the guy that I watched? Who was who was who was that awesome guy? Dobbs. Dobbs. He had an awesome idea about how they can like shape shift into different starter Pokemon, which would be interesting, because a lot of the starter Pokemon are also well loved as well. If you think of Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle, those are the most recognizable starter Pokemon, and they're also the very first starter Pokemon. So you have no idea. If, wait, that'd be actually kind of cool. I can't wait to see it. I have to watch this video, guys. I have to see Mimikyu in action once more because this Pokemon is just absolutely outstanding. I love this Pokemon. It's definitely my favorite out of the Alola region so far besides the Star Pokemon. So, if it would load. That's, that's, that's adorable. That's awesome. So obviously it's a ghost type and a fairy type as well. That's a very interesting typing. Oh my god, it falls over. That's really funny. Up next is uh, my third favorite, Wimpod. The turn tail Pokemon, bug in water. Um, I, I watched the theory of a bird keeper Toby yesterday about how this Pokemon shares very similar, a lot of similarities with Kabuto and Kabutops. So maybe he'll evolve into this really awesome type. Um, it's bug in water. It, his ability is wimp out. Okay. Wimpod have the cowardly nature of its wary noises and sudden movements. If you approach them in a group, they will immediately run off. When Wimpod is feels threatened, they spit out poisonous liquid. The the stench of its toxic fluids signals others in the danger n it, that danger is near. Despite the extreme cowardice, there is curiosity. Le their curiosity le leads Wimpod to approach people or Pokemon that are standing still. Wimpod eat and store anything that they find fallen in the ground. They also scavenge any garbage that has been dropped into the sea. That's sad. That that's just sad. You cannot throw that into the. You're just you're just ruining Wimpod. You're just ruining Wimpod's life, guys. Save Wimpod. Save Wimpod, okay, guys. No one needs to feel like I went to the beach a couple weeks ago, and it was trash. And it was just disgusting. It was ugh. Uh, along the jetty, it was it was terrible. Garbage that has been dropped into the sea. They are highly they, so they are highly valued as cleaners. They sometimes carry pearls or any valuable items. So humans like Pokemon. Humans or Pokemon like Murkrow may target them. So this is kind of like that, like how you find crabs at the beach, or like a crawfish at the beach, right? And they're between the rocks. They're trying to hide. They're trying to like clean the like the the stupid stuff around the area, like the trash and little bugs and creatures that they can eat. And of course, the birds will feed on them, like seagulls, right? Wimpod has a new has the new Wimp Out ability, an ability that no other Pokemon has had before. Okay, we get it, get it. Yes, with the Wimp Out ability, it's if the Pokemon's HP drops below below half in battle, it will run away or swap for another Pokemon. That's a very very cowardly move. I really like this Pokemon. I actually think I might catch him for my team. Maybe it's a three evolution instead of like a two. I believe that it will have an evolution if it's just if it's like a Stunfisk Pokemon. I still will catch it anyway, because Stun, Stunfisk is, sorry, excuse me, Stunfisk is awesome, okay guys, I don't care what anybody else says, Stunfisk is completely awesome. That's pretty much it, um, I'm going to have to go look at all the Pokemon, um, in another video. So guys, yeah, oh, whoopsies, oh, that's, a, that's another sneak peek. Sneak peek this Friday, okay guys. This video is gonna be uploaded on the Wednesday. It's gonna be uploaded on the day that I'm releasing this. You guys need to go watch my top five of Ash's companions this Friday. So it's gonna be an awesome video on this Sunday. We're gonna have an awesome Pokemon related video 
as well. This poke this channel is gonna be Finance of Freddy's and Pokemon related, I'd say. Um a lot of a lot of other stuff too. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys go leave a like if you guys enjoyed. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video. Twitter, Instagram links in the description. I'll see you guys legendary subscribers later. Remember guys, Gumi on.